Do you often hope for a better future or for some better outcome in the future? You know, there is nothing wrong with hoping, except it keeps you really stressed and anxious and completely paralyzed from taking any action in the moment. So would you like to find out how to get from a place of hoping into a place of trusting? My name is Liv from Live Unbound and recently I got a message from one of my clients, Aliyah, because she was going through some breakup. And as you know, breakups can be so painful and she's done some deep healing and she brought me that she's really in the place of being content and free of resentment of any kind. However, she cannot step but wondering and she's hoping maybe for this reconnection with this guy, with her ex-boyfriend. She's hoping for the reconnection. So first, Aliyah, thank you so much for your question. It's just such a wonderful question. You know, why, why do we hope? Where does, where does hope come from? Now let's first explore where does happiness come from? You know, that so-called happiness that we call when we are happy. It comes from expectations. The world of expectations is, is the world of fantasies that we hold in our minds and it's just so specific. We are having expectations about pretty much everything, about how we should live, uh, what kind of partner we should be having, what kind of you know house, how many children, uh, when we should die, how healthy we should be, uh, how much money exactly we should be making. Like all of this is just running underneath. And if the outcome in actuality, in reality, is the same or better, then we feel really happy and we feel really successful. Like, yeah, I'm doing it. Like, I'm really successful. However, if the outcome in reality is the same, I mean, or just slightly below actually, or a lot of below, then we feel depressed, we feel anxious, we feel like something, we're not good enough, and we hope. We hope for some outcome in the future, which again is a fantasy, we're just creating this new fantasy. And so my question for you is, even if you reconnected with your ex, how do you know that that would bring you some better outcome? I mean, how do you know that he wouldn't cheat or your relationship simply just would be really painful or bring more suffering? The thing is that there is no way of knowing. And so this is a place, once you connect to that, that actually you don't know. You're just hoping, you have no idea what would that look like. So you can connect to the place of trust. And trust is a space of emptiness. It's a space of curiosity and being open and just trusting that whatever happens to you, it's just gonna be happening for you and it's gonna support you in some longer term. You know, this week I was working with a client who had this huge problem with a loan company. He said it was like the whole last year uh, he's been having nightmares and feeling so stressed. In the morning, the first thought comes in, you know, comes and he's like, okay, this company is trying to take advantage of them and they are ruthless and they would do anything to take advantage. And he, and he was completely disconnected from his business. He hated what he was doing. And he was even afraid to bring it up to a coaching session because he just didn't see any solutions. And you know what? Neither did I. I didn't see any solutions. He started telling me about the story with lawyers and companies and I didn't even understand what exactly this whole thing meant. However, I trusted the process. I have a process which I trust that always brings some amazing results and insights and new outcomes and new possibilities. So as we went into this deeper healing around it, uh, you know, my mind went like crazy, like, oh my God, like, am I gonna, is this gonna work this time? Am I really gonna help him? And I, can I really like help him to change the situation? It seems so helpless. It seems so hopeless. But deep inside, I just knew because I trust the system. I trust the process. And so I was holding space. And at the end of about half an hour, he started seeing these new possibilities that they were simply not available there at the beginning. And at the end, he was laughing and he knew exactly what his steps are, what to do. He knew just exactly. And that stress that was there so much for the whole year just disappeared. So for me, that's trust. 
you know, the mind has so many excuses. It tells you things, how things should be and what you should do and makes excuses and justifications. But when that happens, we miss what's happening in the moment. You know, the opportunities, what's available to you in the moment. And so I'm not saying not to have any desire to reconnect. I'm just saying when we're hoping, it really brings that stress and we're just listening to the mind. It's about the fantasies. But if you really want to experience this deep satisfaction and enjoyment and true love in life, then knowing how to get into the place of trust, trusting, which is an empty space, it's the trusting is the not knowing mind, it's the curious mind that wonders, that doesn't have the expectations. And whatever happens, whatever outcome happens, you know that it's the right one because why? Because that's the one that happens. Because you know from the space of trusting, whatever conversations happen from there, you won't be feeling, you know, that there's no disappointment. Because always hope and misery, it's like different sides different side of the same coin you cannot separate those two as long as you're hoping for some outcome you're trying to you're really trying to change and, and we, we start controlling people and trying to change them and controlling the situations and it brings so much effort there's nothing you need to do you know trust is really an empty space and it's an open space for you know welcoming that whatever happens we know that we can handle and we know that it's for us as it is and I know that you know <laughs> so thank you so much for watching please let me know in the comments if you've ever felt or ever experienced this trust you know when your mind is telling you all these excuses and justification and it's gonna be so bad in the future and you're gonna be alone and you're gonna die but you have this deep trust you just know if you ever find that space within you then it just brings so many miracles and so much liberation. Have you ever touched that space within you at some point of your lives? I would love to know. Please share it with others so we can also read these comments and, and see if there is anything inspiring for us too. Thank you and I'll see you in my next video. If you find this video useful, don't forget to subscribe, comment and share.